Hey everyone, welcome to Tour Validated. My name is DJ Lance, joined by PGA Tour player Wyndham Clark, and today we're going to take a look inside his bag. So Wyndham, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let's start with the driver, obviously one you're very fond of, so talk to me about what you're playing and why. For, for me, and I think most people, this is probably the most important club to have fit correctly, and for my game, it's probably the most important club. So a little over a year ago, I switched to Titleist, and I did it because of this driver. Mm -hmm. It's the TSI-3, and you know, I. I hit it, I feel like I can hit it exactly how I want every time. The misses are very good. The good ones are as good as anyone else's. And so um, I love this club and it's, uh, it's staying in the bag for sure. I noticed that's TSI versus TSR. Was there a reason you didn't switch or you just, you know, I like it, this, I'm, I'm not gonna yeah, broke it, don't fix it. It's more of that, I don't like to switch equipment. So the TSR3 is fantastic. And I'd say most guys have made that switch. I just, I'm like, I want a good amount of time to move into it, yeah. and some guys moved in right away. I just, I'm very finicky about my equipment, and I love this, and I, I even keep like certain heads that I like, and so I'm, you know, I only like to use certain ones, so okay. it's, this one's staying in the back. Shaft? Uh, this is the new Acra, uh, this is, I think, the prototype uh, okay. one, but it's it's actually a 60 gram, so it's pretty, pretty light. I'd say most guys would be a little heavier with my swing speed, but right. I like to feel the head more. So the head's a little heavier so okay. that I can feel it. When you're going through the fitting process, are you like st strictly numbers guy or do you like to feel a certain thing or how does it end up in this setup? It's a little bit of both. So let's say they set this up and I'm hitting it pretty good, right? Yep. Um, I like to have my driver at between D3 to D4 in swing weight. Mm -hmm. So as long as it's right around there. And when it gets really close, um, you know, let's say it's cutting just a little too much. I like to leave room for lead tape. You know, manufacturers don't love it because it doesn't look as good, but I like to put it exactly where I want. So what I'll do is I'll put it on there, I'll hit about 10 balls, and if it goes great, then I don't move it. But if it's a little off, I'll then adjust it again. And then and then a lot of times they like to go and put glue in, and I'm really, like I said, I don't like to change my equipment. So I, whatever it is, I keep it, and I go, I'm not touching it. Just game it? Yeah. Okay, well let's hop in three wood. So three wood I think is the toughest club to fit and I think most people would say this, it's, you know, just nowadays the three woods go too far. And granted, I am using a long three wood, but so this is funny because this is, I think it's a 17 degree three wood brought down to 15 degrees. It's shorter than five wood length, almost seven wood length. So it's really short and it's a spinny shaft. So I'm trying to actually take distance off, but still be able to hit the tra trajectory I want. So it's a stealth two. This has been a great club in addition to the bag. I'm, I'm hitting it really good. Next up, we've got three iron. Talk to me about it. Uh, yeah, so this three iron um, I love because it's super versatile. It's the T200. I can hit it very low off the tee if I want to just get in, get in play and, and uh, have it run out. And then going into greens, I can hoist this thing. So I can hit it, I mean, really high actually. And so it's nice because it kind of plays as almost a hybrid into greens mm -hmm. and I can still hold green. So this club's been a great addition to my game as well where if I'm really trying to get in play, I can, and then if I'm trying to hold it in two, I can do the same thing. What, so. what can you hit that club if you need to hit like a little scooter out there? How far can you hit it? I can probably hit this between 255 and 260 in okay. the air, you know, and then it runs out. And then when I go into par fives, it typically it's only like 245 to 255 because yeah, I'm trying to hit a higher and it's cutting and it's yep. trying to soft, so playing soft. All right, well next, talk me through the irons. Looks like we have four to, is it pitch, or do we have four to nine and then we go to? Four to nine, okay. so I am, maybe one of three guys on tour that play the CBs. Okay. I like this just because it, it fit the number. So this is one of the few where like, I was hitting this uh, the MB and it was spinning, I was taking too big of divots and maybe it was spinning not enough, I, I can't quite remember. And then the T100 was like, it was too high and looked too much offset and I didn't like it. So I use this and now my numbers are great. So I love these irons. Shafts? Oh yeah, so I have, uh, people always laugh, this is a Dynamic Gold yeah. X7. So, you know, most people have X1s, I have an X7. This thing is very Four. stout and it's it's heavy. Yep. Um, but I kind of like the heavy feel. It's given me a lot, of, lot more precision. I don't curve the ball as much with these, but with that, my, you know, it doesn't it doesn't move as much so right. my misses are a lot better right you can curve it if you need to but obviously yeah. the misses are a lot tighter and then we work into 46 so that's your pitch yep talk to me uh obviously down to the bottom of the bag through those wedges and then the bounces that you're playing so you know obviously a lot of people have a stock pitching wedge that's the same as their irons i felt like it went too far um when i had the stock pitching wedge and so i went into 
Avoki 46. This is um, an SM9 with uh, the F grind. Yep. And so with this, I like it, this has a touch more spin, goes a little shorter, and I feel like I can hit the off speed shots a lot better. You know, and then we go into the wedges. I have pretty much all S grinds. I have a 52, 56. And then we get into my 60, and this is the A grind, which is Aaron Dill's uh, grind. It's, I think, one of the best wedges, and I kind of do a little special grind to it myself. Um, like you on the wheel? No, not as much, but like I sit there and he literally, I tell him like, I want this part. Okay. And then we go and chip and then we come back and do it. And then, and so it's like a lot of pr big, huge process, but right. this is a very low bounce wedge. So most guys are using like the K grind, they're using the S grind, the M grind, like all these different grinds. And this probably goes at to about three to four degrees of bounce. So it's okay. really low bounce. Yep. And I actually don't even really switch it, even if I go to soft places. So I'm a shallow chipper. I'd say similar to like Jason Day to where I don't have as much hinge. Mm -hmm. And so I come in so shallow that I want to get to the ball, you know, right right away. So guys that are more descending blow probably need more bounce, mm -hmm. but I'm not. So this this wedge is very versatile. You can hit it from all over the place, create a lot of spin. So Same shafts in that as your iron? Uh, no. So I go from a huge jump from being at an X7 to then an S4. So dynamic gold S4s, it just produces more spin. Right. And so. I, you know, on tour the greens are so firm and you get those pins downwind or what it, front pins or whatever it is and you just need the ball to stop as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. And so I went with the S4s and it's, I'd say most guys use them, it's very versatile. Yeah, probably shaft. Most, most played shaft on tour as yeah. far as the wedges go. But yeah. last up, we've got the flat stick. What are you rolling? Uh, so this is kind of a new thing last couple weeks. I mean, I got to give a shout out to Ricky Fowler. This is the exact putter he's using right now. Um, played with him out in medalist uh playing a money game and he was putting with it and he literally didn't miss inside 10 feet and when anyone's putting that good you typically are like well, let me look take a look at that yep. and so we practiced afterwards i was putting with mine and and i tried his a little bit and it felt really good and then i played the next couple of events and didn't putt great and in the back of my mind i was like i kind of want to try the putters i don't even think he knows i'm using it yet but when he does see it he'll probably laugh so yeah this is kind of a longer I think it's at about 38 mm -hmm. uh, length, and then uh, you know, bigger, a little bigger grip. The head's pretty heavy, but it just feels like you can't, you know, miss hit it offline. So as far as short putts, it's it's so dialed. It feels like you're going to hit it online every time, and yeah. So that's what I'm rocking. You know, obviously working for you really well this year. We're seeing some good trends. Yeah. A lot of cuts being made. We're trending in the right direction. We're looking forward to seeing you in that winner circle. So appreciate yeah. you spending Thank some you. time taking us through the bag and. Make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you again soon.